Thanks to our sponsor, SCD Key. Get like one offer a month from different CD Key resellers. And I usually say no, but I gotta fess up, guys. I've actually used these guys twice now to buy Windows 10 keys. They've given us a discount code so that you guys can get Windows 10 already. The price is like, you gotta be, gotta be pragmatic. I'm not exactly sure where all the keys come from. They could be uh, from another country. They could be bundled. SCD Key buys them themselves. You're not getting it from a third party who's selling it on their website like you do with some other services, but you guys can get Office for a good price and get them bundled together and save even more. Now check this out. Go over here and hit buy now and use the coupon code TECH18. It's going to bring the price down to $13.69. Again, that's TECH18. You can use that also with this. This is Office and Windows 10 Pro together. Hit TECH18. And now you can get both of them for $35.66. But one thing I do know is when you hit start and type activate, and you come over here, this has already been activated, but you just change product key, paste the key that they're going to give you right in here, hit next. If it does not activate, you can email them because they do guarantee the products that they sell you. So you can email them and they will make sure that they get you a good key. Uh, one thing I want to encourage everybody to do is they put right down here on the bottom, the trust pilot score. So you guys can click over here and look through uh, all the different reviews even if there's some one one you know one star five star read them you know go ahead and read these reviews see what you think but the bottom line for me is i got to be pragmatic and at the end of the day this is a whole lot better than a kms activator for a lot of people that complain they're the same people who crack windows so i've been using these services to get the inexpensive windows keys so go ahead and check them out it's scdkey.com and again that promo code is tech 18. i order you to be quiet we're gonna do a build in this Dark Base Pro 900 Revision 2. It's the flagship case from Be Quiet. But first, eh. this case is big and beautiful. First off, let's just talk about the dimensions because it's huge. 577 by 243 by 586 millimeters. Precisely those dimensions. And it weighs 14.5 three nine kilograms in miles that's about 50 pounds no it's about 20 uh, seven or eight pounds i don't know in 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 american uh kilomiles all right so what i'm going to do is talk about the build but first i want to go through the specs and everything as you guys can see now this is actually the aftermath of the build because we pulled everything out of here a couple issues that are not specifically the case and we were diagnosing but we did a full tear down a full build gone a lot of different directions but before we get into the specs if this is going to be your first PC and you don't have a professional helping you, do not buy this case. You need to start with something a little less modular, a little easier, and a little less frustrating. You're going to be lost if you are a first time builder. So you can buy one of their other cases. I like the build quality on the cases. And, and if you're really looking for like that silence and that sort of thing, one of their other cases is probably going to be a better starting point than this giant expensive flagship that has all the bells and whistles, some that you may or may not need, and lots of frustrating details. But we'll get to that in just a second. Let's go through the, the specifications. So it comes with three of the Silent Wings fans, and these are 140 millimeter fans. They've upgraded them all the way to uh, 1600 RPM, so you have a lot of power here. And you're going to need that because there's not a lot of major vents. They've sacrificed a bit of the cooling for some silence so you see we have you know vents on the side we get vents on the bottom uh, and we also have vents up here on the top to allow the air to be pulled in so they have to have the higher rpm to fight with the fact that there's not a lot of room for air to get in there as far as the overall performance goes i found this case to be slightly warmer than most other cases but it's like again it's a trade-off and it's somewhere performance is somewhere in the middle um, if you're running this on silent because it does have a fan controller on the back that supports eight different fans already three plugged into it you can run them in either silent or you can run them you know crank them all the way up to like full performance mode performance mode you can hear the fans in silent mode if you're trying to overclock and stuff like that you're probably going to throttle your cpu so you can't really run this um, on silent mode if you're going to expect to overclock and run like productivity blender premiere um, and stuff like that video games on the other hand they only use typically 40 to 50 percent of your cpu sometimes 60 uh, newer games may use a little more than that but video games are not going to tax your cpu as much as productivity so there's not that much to worry about and again this performs somewhere in the middle uh, when it comes to a lot of different cases that we've seen out there so it's not that big of a deal. The bottom line is you're gonna get silence and that is why you get a be quiet case. I mean, it's the name of the company. The name of the company is not be cool, it's be quiet. The big deal with this case is everything's modular. You can take out everything. The power supply is decoupled, meaning there's a little bracket you install and then frustratingly wiggle into place right here in front of a little 
a little dingly dongle here, right? So this is how you're gonna hook up your power supply. And this will allow you to move it around a little bit in your, your system. But for someone who's doing a standard build with the, the motherboard mounted in the standard spot, you're gonna find this just to be kind of a goofy little spot to put your power supply a couple inches away from where it normally would go. So if you're doing a regular build and you're not moving stuff around, it's pointless. If you're gonna be doing some modding and doing something modular, it's a beautiful thing and it gives you options and more options the better, right? So it's, which way do you wanna go? More options the better. All right, while we're down here talking about this, let's talk about the shroud. So we have a modular shroud here that makes me want to fight people in the streets. It was extremely frustrating to work with. Um, it just it just added a layer of frustration that I wasn't ready to deal with. And there's already so much room in this space. There's so much room to, to hide cables behind here. Um, it's like you can use it if you want to. And it's another thing that's going to be an optional thing. But one thing that's cool about this is you guys can remove the panels here. You guys can see. And if you needed more cooling or whatever, I'm not sure... Uh, exactly why you would mount the fans down here because it's going to create a weird airflow in your case um i guess you can blow down I, I don't know but you guys can mount extra fans here if you need it but i mean really with the case like this you're probably going to want to deal with some static pressure meaning you're going to want air coming in from the front and going out through the top and through the back so you're going to want air coming through if you introduced a fan pointed upward right there that might um, create like turbulence inside your system and you're not going to want that so maybe blowing down would be an option if you got stuff going on uh, speaking of the modularity hard drive trays now you guys get a couple of these um, and they're pretty cool because they the way they mount is like it's kind of like mount and they stick out of the case um, there's rubber dampening on here to help with vibrations and also noise they've thought about noise on every little inch of this case so that's really cool and you guys can mount them anywhere you like. Now this entire panel can be removed and switched around. The entire motherboard tray can be decoupled. You just, you know, unscrew the entire thing. It's a bit of a process, which a lot of things with modular cases are a bit of a process, but you can unscrew the entire thing and then flip it around and mount it on the other side of your case. So if you go, if you guys wanna be able to see, uh, you know, if your, your case is on one side of the desk or the other, you can move it around and then move your tempered glass, which also will help with some of the sound dampening. You can move it to the other side if you like. We didn't do that. We just need to, did a regular build. But if you wanted to, you could totally move everything from one side of the case to the other, the hard drives, everything. And then there's going to be plenty of room for reservoirs. And I'll get to the rest of the water cooling in just a second. But yeah, you guys will have plenty of room to do custom tubing and that sort of thing. So with a modular case like this that's in this price range, uh, you are going to have a lot of different options um, when it comes to all that. Now, as far as your different hard drives go, well, yeah, you guys can get more of these if you wanted to, but you can already fit seven hard drives and 15 SSDs. And on the top, there's even a couple bays there for your optical drives or just five and a quarter bays. So you guys can mount whatever you like there, maybe like a, a, an additional temperature readout or just whatever you want to put in your five and a quarter bay, right? It doesn't have to be an optical drive, obviously. Now, you guys will see there's insulated material all around. We've got the insulated material behind the motherboard tray and on the front panel there and the, the door that opens and everything. Um, and that's going to help it stay nice and, and, and quiet, which again, it's the whole theme of the case. There's even some sound dampening up here in the top. So they've thought of that as well because they're like, oh, we got some vents up here. Let's, let's make them sound dampened. All right. So you want your uh, your colors in your RGB, right? Well, they do include some some LEDs. So we got some LED strips. And um, as far as controlling that goes, you can plug it into the fan controller. And then on the front, the reset button is now... A, an, an LED button. So you have LEDs, you have fan control, you have the power, you have a couple USB 3, and then we have a Type-C 3.1 on the front. I want to mention something because I've noticed some people on, on different comments and different places like Amazon and Newegg and stuff in the, in the reviews have mentioned that the uh, the front panel stopped working. And actually one of our USB front panels on this, or, you know, front panel ports stopped working. So that was after about a month of uh, use of this case. Uh, Justin was using this as his primary rig and that's one of the reasons we took everything out of here because little things were giving us issues like the front panel thing was a, a getting annoying. All right, let's talk about what you can fit in here. Motherboards, any motherboard pretty much, because the motherboard tray not only can be swapped to the other side, you can move it up and down. If you need a little more room for fans in the top, you can actually slide the tray down a little bit. Guys, this will fit EATX, XLATX, whatever you want can go in this case. No big deal. If you're going to get an ITX, why are you get in this case? That's kind of weird. But I guess if you want to put a ton of reservoirs in here and just like use all the extra space that normally would be motherboard, Maybe you could do that. I don't know. You could also, you have three different spots where you can fit ra uh, radiators. You probably fit a radiator down here on the bottom too. So one there, you put one here, probably four radiators, one in the front, one in the bottom and one on the top. 
And uh, if you move some things around, maybe remove the five and a quarter bay in the, the front there. If, you don't, if you're not gonna use the optical drives, you guys can fit up to a 420 on top. So huge water cooling potential uh, with this rig. Now, as far as my build goes, um, doing a regular build on this, I, I'm never gonna do it again. It was extremely annoying to build in. Like, it was like, am I just crazy or what? So I went and read a bunch of comments on Newegg and, and Amazon, and it just kept coming up, like pain in the arse, pain in the backside, but I saw that a lot. And guys, this was a bit over-engineered for my taste. Um, but if you, if, again, there's like two different schools of thought. If you're getting this for the modularity, then you're doing the right thing. If you're getting it just to build a regular system, it's going to be frustrating and, you, and you're going to be like, God, this is like convoluted and you know, putting a hard drive, right? I mean, putting my power supply right here instead of all the way in the back. Like, why am I doing this? Well, of course, you're supposed to use it for its modularity, not for just a regular build. And that's what we did. And it was really frustrating. So I want to say that this case is extremely quiet, extremely well built. It's solid. Uh, the USB thing in the front might be an issue. I don't know. Um, if, if more people are having issues, let us know in the comments. But it happened to us and it happened to some people online. So maybe there's a, a quality control issue with the USB in the front. Otherwise, it's solid. It's huge. It's beautiful. The thing is, after you finish with your build and it's just there, it's going to be a really nice case. So get through the initial frustration of the build and be happy or Use this for, you know, use this to its full modular potential and be happy or get something that's cheaper and easier if you're not going to be doing a crazy build. And that is my bottom line with this system is it's overkill for most people, but for the people who need it, it is going to be cool. So again, that's the Dark Base Pro 900. Had a lot of fun playing around with it, as in like <laughs> didn't have very much fun playing around with it. But I'm also looking forward to whatever Be Quiet's gonna be doing next, especially something, something maybe a little bit smaller. And um, uh, we do have a lot of Be Quiet cases here in the office and I love them, so. Mixed feelings. It is beautiful though. See you guys in the comments.